Arlington's Trade Center Complex is an amazingly dense hub of county services and equipment. It's a crucial site that helps Arlington work for you. And today we'll go on an exclusive behind the scenes tour of the facility. But first, you may have noticed that our drinking water tastes slightly different this month, but no need to worry. It's actually a normal part of keeping Arlington's water safe. We get our drinking water from the Washington Aqueduct, which is undergoing its annual disinfectant switch. We'll be back to our regular tasting water after April 17th. To learn some more about the water treatment process, check the front page story on our website. April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. We participated in Pinwheels for Prevention by planting a pinwheel garden at Arlington Mill Community Center. The pinwheel is the national symbol for child abuse prevention. Communities that nurture families can help prevent child abuse and neglect. If you ever feel that a child is in immediate and severe physical danger, please call Child Protective Services at 703-228-1500 or local law enforcement. Congratulations, you are America's newest citizens. Arlington welcomed 57 new U.S. citizens from 28 countries and an emotional naturalization ceremony at Central Library Auditorium. The new citizens turned in their green cards and took the oath of allegiance to the United States. I'm so excited! <laughs> they were then each given a certificate of naturalization as official proof that they are now Americans. Welcome and congratulations to all our new citizens. The county board is continuing to hold budget work sessions throughout April. The board heard the county manager's budget presentation and received feedback from the public. It is expected to adopt the fiscal year 2018 budget at its April meeting. To find out more about the budget process, check our website and search for 2018 budget. The Joint Facilities Advisory Commission, or JFAC, has been hard at work this year assessing the county's land use needs. We were able to tag along with one of the commission members as he toured the county's trade center complex in Sherlington. Take a look. Hello, my name is Rodney Turner. I'm a member of the Joint Facilities Advisory Commission or the JFAC in Arlington County. I'm also an Arlingtonian. And we're here today at the Arlington Trade Center to look at the operations of the services that are provided for all of us in the county. Right now we're in the bus lot where the school buses are housed, 177 of which that they used each day to take our kids safely to and from school. There's a lot more here than just school buses. There's equipment here to help maintain Arlington's over 500 miles of water mains and over 1,000 miles of road lanes. And did you know, we also replace and rehab about eight miles of water line each year and repair 7,400 potholes a year. There's also a police impound lot. There's mulch pickup, recycling, heavy equipment, and of course, the county's new fire academy, where the firefighters train so they can be ready to respond when called upon. And in Arlington County, we don't just recycle cans, bottles, and paper. We also recycle earth products. We're here at the Solid Waste Bureau's Earth Products Recycling Yard, where you'll see mounds of aggregate as well as mulch that's been created from leaves and hard products and hardscape that we've used to crush to use and reuse throughout the county to help redo our parks, to help work on our roads, we try to recycle as much as we can in the county to make things sustainable. And here behind me, you have one of our two indoor salt storage facilities in the county. These are used, obviously, to store the salt that we use for our big snowstorms. This facility holds about 3,500 tons of salt. And here you can see residences and how close they are to the Arlington Trade Center. As you can imagine, the noise can be a problem, but we need to have the operational and services where we can get them. As you know, we are a small county, 26 square miles. We have to locate schools. We have to locate buses for those schools. We have to locate parks. We have many needs. We look forward to hearing from you. And I can assure you, you'll be hearing from us. Thank you. You can follow along with the commission's progress by going to arlingtonva.us and searching for JFAC. After exploring numerous alternatives, the county board has decided that the best way to preserve the 19th century Reeves farmhouse is to sell it to a private buyer with the condition that they maintain its historic character. As a condition of the agreement, 
the farmhouse and adjacent park will remain part of the local historic district. All exterior changes are subject to review by the Historical Affairs and Landmark Review Board. To find out more, check the list of frequently asked questions about the Reeves Farmhouse on our website by searching Reeves Land. Well, that's it for this edition. You can find out more about events going on around Arlington by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, and checking our website at arlingtonva.us. And we'll see you next time around Arlington. Arlington.